bit about my background. I actually graduated from Virginia Tech in 2003 uh, with a degree in computer science. My mission for the past decade has been to find free market solutions for securing life, liberty, property, and justice for all. And what I mean by that is non-violent, um, voluntary solutions for uh, securing our, the, the things that matter most to us, our, our liberties, our freedom, our property rights. And blockchain technology happens to be the most effective tool we've ever created uh, for doing just that. So in 2013, uh, it was when I entered the blockchain space full time, and I did my first project was BitShares. This was a decentralized cryptocurrency exchange. I wanted to create a system that would allow you to have digital tokens that were tied to the value of the dollar, gold, or silver. Uh, and so that's why I created BitShares. Then in 2016, I wanted to find a way to apply blockchain technology to a wider audience. Uh, financial applications are quite dis uh, difficult to sell. Um, so created Steemit. Uh, Steemit is the first social media platform on a blockchain. Uh, and the incentives created by blockchain and the, the vested interest of all the people in the community has allowed Steemit to grow from uh, nothing to one of the top thousand websites in the world in less than two years. These two past projects, uh, they currently represent the majority of blockchain activity. And you talk about all the transactions that occur in all the different blockchains, everything from Bitcoin to Ethereum to the hundreds of other blockchains out there. These are the most heavily used blockchains uh, because they're the most accessible uh, blockchains. And they're also the most efficient blockchains, meaning that they're only using a, a small fraction of their capacity, while some of the earlier ones, like Bitcoin and Ethereum, they've maxed out and the fees have, have started to rise because of the, the limited supply of capacity. So I've taken the lessons I've learned from BitShares and Steam, joined Block One uh, to create EOSIO. This is a general purpose blockchain. It's designed to enable developers like those in this room to more easily build applications on blockchain technology uh, with a particular eye toward solving some of the biggest problems in the space, including scalability. Because there's actually two concepts uh, that often get confused. One is the application and the other is the blockchain. Currency is an application. A blockchain is a database with application logic tied to it. The reality is blockchains change everything. And there are a lot of applications where you don't need to understand uh, the new way of doing economics and you know, decentralized communities or Airbnb and Uber, all these peer-to-peer -peer things. You don't need to know all those things. You don't need to know about token models to apply uh, blockchain technology. You can take whatever you're currently an expert in. You can probably apply blockchain technology to it. You can view the blockchain like a radio station. Everyone in the world is listening to the radio station and everyone's recording what goes, what's played over the air. At any time, anyone can call into the radio station and say, hey, my name's so-and-so and I'd like to transfer something to someone else. The radio station defines the order of events. Everyone hears the order of events and everyone knows exactly who owns what because there's no uh, dispute about the order it happened in because the, the radio station serializes the, the broadcast. And so the throughput of a blockchain is how many different people can all broadcast their messages through uh, the system and how many people are listening. If uh, no one has a copy, well, now you're back to where we are today. The only people that have a copy of your banks is the banks, uh, and they can change it. But when everyone has a copy, it's immutable because uh, someone says, hey, this is the true version, but everyone else can check their own record or they know somebody who has a different record. And that is what enables very powerful applications.